Hello everyone, good morning. I'm your teacher and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this is the last lesson for our PDPR, but I will still be posting videos uh, for your revision at the weekends. Okay, so for today, what you're going to do is first re watch all the lessons from lesson one until the latest one. Okay, and then after that, you are going to do some tests, online tests. The tests uh, you will do it after you finish the revision. Okay, so uh, listen back to uh, watch back all the lesson that we have learned before, and make sure you finish your unfinished work make sure you have done all the th the work i've given uh, okay so let's start our lesson today there are seven flags here this is malaysia flag this is the us the next one is the UK. The fourth one, this is Mexico. Number five, this one is Brazil. Okay, the next one, it's Korea. And last but not least, this one is China. Do it in your EX or WS. Okay, so what is pronoun? So there are two types of pronoun. The first one is singular pronoun. Singular pronoun is for one person. We use I, he, or she. So if we use I, the partner is I am. And then when we use he, and she we use is okay so when you say i am you can also say i'm i'm is the short form of i am and then when you say he is or she is you can also say his or she's because his is the short form for he is and she's is the short form for she is okay so these three things are for singular pronoun which is i'm his and she's okay the next one that we we are going to learn is plural pronoun plural means many people or more than one okay so so when we talk about plural we use they we and you okay some of you might be confused so why you are used for plural you is uh you uh some sometimes you are used for one people and then sometimes uh, one person and then sometimes it is for 
many people so why do we use you here because you is special so you are okay so whenever we see they we or you we will always use are for example they are we are and you are and then the short form is they are we are and you are
It's Monday morning. Greg and Anna are going on a school trip to the museum. Hi, I'm Greg. What's your name? I'm Carlos. Where are you from, Carlos? I'm from Mexico. Oh, you're Mexican. I'm Anna, and I'm Sandy. I'm Korean. Oh, hi. Hey, look at that. <laughs> ah, he's alive. Oh, sorry, guys. Greg. Listen and read. Social studies. A day in the life of a figure skater. Megan, nine. Megan usually goes to the ice skating rink at half past six in the morning. She goes to school at a quarter to eight. After school, she does her homework. Megan sometimes watches TV after dinner. She always goes to bed at eight o'clock at night. Okay, so you have learned, you have listened, and read about a day in the life of a figure skater. So I want you to listen to the next one. A day in the life of a chess player. So let's begin. A chess player. Pablo, ten. Pablo goes to school at a quarter past eight. After school, Pablo doesn't go home. He always goes to the chess club and plays chess. He usually goes home at six o'clock in the evening. After he does his homework, Pablo has dinner. He sometimes plays chess on his computer. Pablo usually goes to bed at nine o'clock. Okay, so the structures he, she, it, they, we, I, or you. When we use this, uh, when we use this word always, usually, sometimes, and never, these four words always, usually, sometimes, and never, it's always after the subject the subject here means the people or the thing he she it they we are you for example he always she always it always they always we always i always you always and it's the same with usually sometimes and never okay remember that
Hi, my name's Kumar and I'm 10 years old. I'm from Malaysia and I live in Malacca. I've got a brother, his name is Rama. Have you got any brothers or sisters? In this picture, I'm playing football. Football is my favourite sport. What's your favourite sport? Please write back soon. Bye for now. Kumar. Look at the email up there. There are two emails there. If you look closer. Yes. To panpal at world.com and from kumar at mall.com So, there are two emails. Why are there two emails? This is because uh, one is for the people who send the email and then the other one is for the people we send the email so let's look at this okay the first one to penpal at world.com this is the recipient email what does it mean by recipient's email it means that we uh, it is the email address of who we are going to send the email to so look at the keyword to this one too to at penpal at world.com so kumar sent the email to penpal at world.com and then the second one we have from from means from who from kumar at mall.com so if you are writing your email uh, it is called the sender's email so this one is your email address this one kumar at mall.com so if you are writing change it to your email address okay the next one in an email we have when we are writing an email we always start with hi or hello or uh, how are you all of that so this one hi after you write the word hi there's a line here between hi and my name so leave one line leave one line okay next we have paragraph one which is my name's kumar until brothers or sisters when we write email uh, we can write it in one paragraph or two paragraphs like this one depending on how much or how many uh, things are you going to write in this email so here you can look at the paragraph one Kumar introduced himself he's telling about uh, his name how old is he where is he from where does he live and about his family that's why all of that is about introducing self it's in the first paragraph and then for the second paragraph look here in this picture so the focus of the second paragraph is telling about the picture that's why uh, kumar write about two paragraph if you only write about yourself and nothing else you don't have to write two paragraph you just have to write about one paragraph but if you write about yourself and then you're talking about the picture what are you doing in the picture so you need to write it in uh, two paragraph and then afterwards what we have is after the please write back soon please leave one line again and then write bye for now and then lastly write down the sender's name so if you are writing the email the one down there the kumar change it to your name it's almost the same as we send a letter uh, but email is a uh, electronic mail we send it from the internet okay so now what i want you to do is I want you to find out about the information from the, the email. Okay, so first one, what you need to write is name, age, where is Kumar from, where he lives, uh, Kumar's family, and what he likes. 
So I'm going to give you a few seconds to find the information and then we I will put the answer out uh, one by one. So I'm going to give you a few seconds for number one. Okay, so name for name. The name should be Kumar. Unless he write there his full name like Kumar anak laki nagarajan then you have to write all the thing but if you cannot find just write his name as kumar remember kumar is a proper noun it's a name so you must write the first letter in capital letter so k write it in a big letter followed by the rest in small letter okay so i believe you have uh skim go through the information so how old is kumar he is 10 years old where is he from he's from malaysia like you where does he lives he lives in malacca again for malaysia and malacca you need to write it in capital letter because that is a proper noun okay so about kumar's family how many brothers or sister does he have? So he only have a brother. I have got a brother. So he only have one brother, a brother. And what does he likes to do? He likes football. So these are the example. So I want you to write this one in your EX. You write about yourself uh, based on what I teach here, okay? So what is your name? Okay, so my name is Zach. So I put here Zach. Uh, please write your full name. So if your name is uh, who's the first one? Ashton. You write your full name or Lau Kaden or uh, Jeline or Mukesh or uh, Angeline. Write down your name. So the next thing you have to write is how old are you? So for me, I'm Mr. Zach. I am 30 years old this year. So I write here, 30 years old. So for you, you are in the year 4. Some of you might be 9 years old. Some of you might be 10 years old. So you can write, how old are you there? Right? And then for number 3, I'm from. Where are you from? Like you guys, I am from Malaysia too. And then for number four, I live in, I live in Sabah. Currently, I'm stuck in Sabah. So I live in Sabah. How about you? Where are you now? Uh, where are you living? Johor, Malacca, Penang? Write down where is your place here. So remember, for name, uh, for Malaysia and for the country, we need to write it in capital letter. Okay, next is about family. How many brothers and sister, sisters do you have? For me, I have five brothers and two sisters. So if you have one brother and one sister, you just write a brother and a sister. If you only have a brother, just write a brother. If you only have a sister, then just write a sister. If you are an only child, means you are you are the only one in the you are the only children in the family. You write there, I'm an only child. Only O N L Y C H I L D. Only child means you are the only one. Okay? And then lastly, I like. What do you like? Okay, for me, I like doing marathon and playing electric bass. So I put here uh, two things. You can write at least one thing or more. So afterwards, we are going to write an email based on our own information. Okay, so let me teach you. First, uh, you look at the instruction. Write an email to a new pen pal then present it to the class. It's okay. What you need to do is, you just write an email to me. Uh, I'm going to show you my email address afterwards. So what you need to write here is the first thing here, look at the word from. This one is your email address. Make sure you write your email address here. Okay. 
so uh, based on my example just now let's try this is my example my information so hi my name is Zach my name's Zach and I'm 30 years old I'm from Malaysia I live in Sabah I have got six brothers and two sisters I like marathon and playing electric bass please write back soon and then write your name there and then this is my name Zach okay then here you can add some pictures okay this is my picture of doing marathon and this is my picture of playing electric bass Look at the picture. What is he doing? What is he doing? Look at the question. What is he doing? I know many of you say, oh, play, play football. Yes, correct. But it's not 100% correct. So when we see this kind of question, what is he doing? Focus on three things, uh, two things. First one look at the red color word is n i n g whenever we use is a uh, m uh, was were we always use i n g after the verb so the verb here is do what is he doing so how you answer the second one look at the yellow color the yellow color means the subject so if you look at the picture the picture is of a man and then you know he is uh, he play football so is an ing he is play ing playing football so this is how you answer the question what is he doing look at the red color is he refers to the subject is is the second one he is he is doing what he is playing you need to add ing okay or you can answer like this one he's playing football whichever answer you use is correct you can answer he is playing football or he's playing football okay remember the subject the yellow color there must always be the first one and then the second one after the subject is always the verb to be so he is and then after the verb to be you need to add ing to the verb okay next one let's look at the second example okay for this one look at the picture what can you see in the picture there's a word there taekwondo and then what is the subject the subject is a woman so we use she okay so the question here is what is she doing what is she doing again you need to look at the yellow color and the red color word so what is she doing what is the subject the subject is she so she is doing taekwondo again look at the first one she is and then ing or you can just say she's doing taekwondo okay for the next one look at the picture what is the question what are they doing what are they doing so you can just say play basketball but instead of play basketball what you can do is 
you can say first one the subject first they are playing basketball okay you might notice just now the the do do the word doing there the word doing there you can change it uh, if they are playing change it to play if they are doing something use do like take on the just now we use what are they doing uh, what is she doing she is doing taekwondo you cannot say playing taekwondo because taekwondo is not a game it's a sport so what things we use do is like doing sports doing taekwondo uh, what else doing exercise doing homework all of that we use do but when we say play we can say playing uh, football playing basketball uh, what else how about exercise just now we can say doing exercise or you can just say he is exercise plus ing so exercising something like that uh, for this one the second one you can answer they are playing basketball like this one okay so today we are focusing on how to answer questions okay so now i want you to open your textbook we are going to look at the structure of asking and answering question before you open your textbook look at this table first okay so wh question what is he is she are you are they net doing and then this one is how to ask question when we ask question we always use uh, for this one is the when the question start with what what is he doing or you can say what is she doing or you can say what are you doing or what are they doing and then how do we answer we have his reading she's reading i'm reading we are reading and they are reading so this is how to answer so in today's lesson we already learned in the first lesson just now uh, the structure uh, so now we are going to practice how to answer the question okay okay so for example the first one what is he or she doing remember whenever the subject is only one when there's only one subject we must always use is so when we answer the answer should be how to answer his or she's so he's reading or she's reading next one what are they doing look at the word they when there are many people we use the word are the verb to be are so how do we answer how to answer they are reading okay next one when we talk about you what are you doing as i said just uh, in my previous previous lesson you are special why because there are two types of you when we say what are you doing we always use are why because when we talk about you firstly we have one to one one to one means i am talking to someone else you means uh, one person that's the first that's you means one person that is the first example and then the second one one to many it can be many people it can be one to one ali talk to abu achong talk to ali abu and mutu something something like that that's why you are special it can be one person it can be many people okay one to one the answer will be i am reading when we ask question what are you doing when in one-to-one -one situation because there's only one person 
you are the one ask uh, so your answer should be I am reading but when we ask question one to many what are you doing when you ask the question to many people your answer should be we we are reading okay so in your textbook let's play mean your topic for today's lesson in your textbook not let us play not you and I play okay so let's play is the topic for today's lesson look at your textbook uh, search for this page on page number 10 okay if you look at the two people up there uh, they are asking questions and answering question right if you are in class you would be answering and asking question to your friends but because of the uh, MCO we cannot do that it's okay uh, if we were doing a Google Meet you would have been asking and answering question but it's okay uh, never mind so what you are going to do today is you're going to focus on the two question the first one is okay I'm giving you an example uh, look at number four where is he from why he because in the picture it is a boy so where is he from that's the first question and then you need to answer where is he from look at the flag down there in the box he is from the UK we have learned about it in the first lesson the UK the US American Malay uh, not American Malaysia uh, Mexico Brazil Korea China all of that we have learned in the first lesson so the first thing you need to remember is where is he from he is from the UK you need to answer the second one what is he doing and then the answer would be he is playing video games look at the picture you can see he's holding a controller so this is the first example the second example look at the yellow color uh, picture number five where is she from because in the picture it's a picture of a girl so when it's a picture of a girl we use the word we use the pronoun she so how to answer she is from Malaysia and then what is she doing she is playing badminton she's playing badminton okay next one uh, the last example for today before you do it by yourself okay we're going to take picture number eight as an example where are they from why they because there are two people in the picture so they are from China why China because if you look at the flag the country below you can see that it's a Chinese flag it's China flag so what are they doing they are playing chess okay look at the the words here to help you do number one to number nine ask two questions the first one is what okay this is not what where is he she they uh, you from change it if you depends on the picture not what it this one should be uh this one should be where w h e r e okay and then uh look at the picture is if it's a boy 
uh, use he if it's a girl use she if there are many people use they or you okay okay and then the second one okay the second one is supposed to be what I've made a mistake here so the second one should be what w h a t uh, sorry for the mistake okay so this one is supposed to be here and where is supposed to be up here exchange it so the first one should be where the the that from and the second one what the the that doing okay so ask the question and answer it i want you to do from number one to number nine before we start i'm going to introduce you to the main characters in the story a little boy called charlie who loves his favorite actor bruce chang okay not charlie charlie are you there okay remember never play with ghosts now what made him love his favorite actor so much? Let's listen to the story. It's Saturday morning and Charlie is watching TV. Charlie's favorite actor is on TV. His name is Bruce Chang. Bruce is Chinese. Charlie likes Bruce because he is a good actor and he does karate. Charlie also does karate. I do karate too. A lady on TV is asking Bruce questions. Do you do karate every day, Bruce? She asks. Yes, I do karate every day after breakfast, Bruce says. I also play football. Sometimes I play table tennis at the weekends. Charlie also plays football. I play football too. Later that afternoon, Charlie rides his bike to the park. Charlie's friends, Reggie and Dean, are at the park. Charlie tells his friends about the TV show. Bruce Chang is great, says Charlie. I want to meet him. But Bruce Chang lives in China, says Reggie. Yes, says Charlie. I know. Let's go to China. Reggie and Dean laugh. We can't go to China, says Reggie. Let's play football instead, says Dean. Oh, all right says Charlie. Here are the summary of the story in a flowchart so you'll be able to understand it better. So the story starts with Charlie was watching TV. He was watching his favorite actor Bruce Chang. Next what happened is he realized that they both did karate every day. This Matt Charlie loves Bruce Chang even more. They have the same interests. Okay. After that, what happened is a lady interviewed Bruce Chang and asked him if he does karate every day. So Bruce Chang says, yes, he does karate every day after breakfast. He also does football and table tennis charlie also does football too so he likes bruce chang even more this makes him want to go to china and meet with bruce chang the next morning he went to the park and he told his friends about bruce chang and how he wants to go to china to meet him Unfortunately, his friends Reggie and Dean laugh at him because they felt that it is impossible for a kid to go to China. Why? Not because of COVID, okay? Not because of lockdown, maybe, perhaps. But in the story, it's be before that. It's because a kid can only travel when you are with adults adults are grown up your parents or teacher so how do you think of the story do you like it it's saturday morning and charlie is watching tv charlie's favorite actor is on tv 
His name is Bruce Chang. Bruce is Chinese. Charlie likes Bruce because he is a good actor and he does karate. Charlie also does karate. I do karate too. A lady on TV is asking Bruce questions. Do you do karate every day, Bruce? She asks. Yes, I do karate every day after breakfast, Bruce says. I also play football. Sometimes I play table tennis at the weekends. Charlie also plays football. I play football too. Later that afternoon, Charlie rides his bike to the park. Charlie's friends, Reggie and Dean, are at the park. Charlie tells his friends about the TV show. Bruce Chang is great, says Charlie. I want to meet him. But Bruce Chang lives in China, says Reggie. Yes, says Charlie. I know. Let's go to China. Reggie and Dean laugh. We can't go to China, says Reggie. Let's play football instead, says Dean. Oh, all right, says Charlie. Let us check the question. Okay, he's watching TV on Saturday morning. Who is watching TV on Saturday morning? Is it Charlie or Bruce? Yes, the answer is Charlie. Okay, let's go to the next one, to the second one. He is a famous actor. Who is a famous actor? Is it Charlie or Bruce? Yes, Bruce is a famous actor. The next one. He does karate every day after breakfast. Yes, who does karate every day after breakfast? It's Bruce. The next one, Reggie and Dean are his friends. Okay, whose friends is it? Is it Charlie's or Bruce? Yes, it's Charlie. And then we have he lives in China. Who lives in China? Yes, Bruce Chang lives in China. And then he wants to go to China. Who wants to go to China? Yes, you're correct. The answer is Charlie. Okay, so you have rewatched all the videos for today. What I want you to do next is don't forget to do the online test. After you do the online test, make sure you have done all the work that I've given you and see you in school tomorrow. Okay, that's all for today. Bye.